Hello everyone, welcome to Lillian and the Magic Box. Today it's 31st of December 2023, the last day of the year. And to finish this year in a great vibes, we are going to have a lovely man called Vashek. Vashek is from Czech Republic. So, I would like to wish you a happy new year. I hope um, you have an amazing year ahead, full of dreams, full of healthy, a lot of good things and good vibes as well. Okay? Happy new year. I hope you enjoy the interview. So, hello, Vashek. How are you? I'm doing all right. Yes. How was your day today? Um, quite interesting. I was uh, working from home, but also um, because I work for a uh, car producing company. Okay. So, um, so I had uh, like a lease for a year of a car, and I changed an old one for a new one today so i have a new car okay. <laughs> <Another> year. <laughs> okay. so tell me vashek where are you from well i'm from the czech republic um mm -hmm. I, i don't live very far from prague about it's about i don't know let's put it 50 kilometers about 30 miles north of prague uh -huh. in a place called mada boleslav and oh. we make uh, skoda cars here you know them from britain you do The, the brand? The brand, yes. They're actually produced here, in where I live. And I work I for the company as well. I see. And besides that, tell me something interesting about the place where you were born and raised. Interesting. Well, uh, the place is interesting. The, the, the town itself is not very interesting, even though it's a very old town uh, with a, a thousand years long history. But uh, not far from here, there is like a, an area called Czech Paradise, which is full of rock formation, uh, rock formations, castles and um, castle ruins. So it's a really nice place to go for trips. So I, I, like, I like it there. Amazing. And do you go to Prague very often or not? Yeah, I do actually. It's not too far. I went at the weekend um so yeah I, and i will probably go next week again oh actually i'm going to school this weekend uh on sunday and saturday and so it's both both days in prague i see so tell me a little bit about your job what do you do for work well um i actually changed my job uh, a few days ago uh, congratulations two weeks ago, <laughs> two weeks ago. and uh, for 20 years i was in like language training business Wow. I was I was working for language schools teaching uh, adults and the last five years I was working in Skoda company uh, like in language training so we were providing uh, language courses for our employees um, every year about two to three thousand people were entering some some programs and wow. two weeks ago I changed the job and I decided it was time for change uh, leave the languages behind me And I am now in uh, like a corporate or company culture, uh, so soft skills, uh, emotional intelligence, and stuff like that. I see. But the languages were like you were teaching uh, foreign languages, like English and other languages as well. Um, no, um, I don't teach. For, I haven't been teaching for the past five years. I did mm -hmm. 15 years before, okay. um, but I did only English. I I can speak only English or Czech. And nobody wants to speak Czech. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Okay, so during the, the show, I'm going to explore a bit more about your life overall, okay? Okay, that's fine. So before we start our journey, within the Magic Box, I would you like you to tell me something interesting about yourself? Something that not many people know about you. Oh, well, I think I'm pretty open. So I, I think I can't, you know, my friends know uh, a lot of stuff, or most of the stuff about me. Um, well, what people don't usually know, um, that uh, I used to be in the Mormon church for a long time when I was young. Uh, I actually served uh, like a, a Mormon mission uh, wow. when I was about 20, 22, and I did it in, in England, okay. so in the north, like the Manchester area. So, right. uh, so that, was for, that was for two years. Wow. And so, yeah, and I... I left the church when I was about 30 and um, and that's like my past life um, 
but now I'm just living a completely different life uh, to the life before and uh, I'm much happier to be honest, more colorful. Um, and so that was, a uh, you know, when I was about 30 and I was leaving the church, uh, that was the time I uh, I came out. I was married at the time, uh, so that was quite a turbulent time. But mm-hmm. since then, I uh, uh, I've developed. I left this like spiritual spirituality and spiritual life. I came to it in a different way. Um, I have been, I've been interested in like philosophy, and I mm-hmm. study uh, psychotherapy. Um, emotional intelligence and um, yeah and I actually help um, I work not it's like it's volunteering actually but I'm like a peer-to-peer uh, mentor for people who LGBT people in distress and who have problems in their lives uh, because of the uh, orientation um, mm-hmm. and that's what we do online um, it's anonymous and wow I've been doing it for the past seven seven years. Awesome. So yeah, that has been quite interesting, and I like that. Very interesting. Wow, that's amazing. I think you know, helping people somehow, it's always a a great experience. And in the end of the day, you are helping yourself. That's how I see. Yes, yeah, you're true. Yeah, that's true. I mean, amazing. Yeah, because I was when I was in the church. Um, you know how the churches are usually about the, the you know, LGBT people. Um, so, and when I left, I was kind of angry and bitter, but I didn't want to stay bitter in my life because that's not, I didn't want to, you know, be having these feelings and emotions and feeling bitter. That's not kind of fulfilling. So I just transformed it and decided to help people who might have the same problem. And I can do it only if I just sort it out, and, you know. Amazing. Good. Vashek, are you ready to go on a beautiful journey through your memories in life and share your point of views? Okay. Amazing. Welcome to William and the Magic Box. <laughs> so, I've got to give my... Friend, okay, full of random fun questions. I'm just going to play a song now just for us to relax a bit before the first question, okay? Okay. Just... Let's do it. All right. So before we start the game, um, during the join, if it comes up a question that you don't want to talk about for some reason, you don't want to answer, always can change, okay? okay? First question for you is, how to describe a perfect, healthy relationship? Ooh. Um, open, um, tolerant, uh, a place of safety, uh, where intimacy can come into play, mm-hmm. um, and trust and care, but care, but it ne- there needs to be love as well. If there is only care, it's not enough. What's the meaning of love for you? The meaning of love. Wow. Um, it's something that is just gives life a little bit of spice. It it doesn't actually matter if it's like a relationship or a friend, mm-hmm. but if there is that certain kind of love and um, feelings and emotions towards the person that you care about, um, and it's you know it gives really good feelings and the feelings that you want to do something for the person and be there for them and um and help and yes that's just like it's important to me it is important and i have people like that in my life and i'm so grateful for that amazing very good next question let's do it hey next question is what is the soundtrack of your life and why oh uh, i like soundtracks uh-huh. And uh, once, well, there are so many. No, but I like I like uh, John Williams. Mm. So uh, Star Wars: Revenge of the Sith is a, a really good one. But also, Hans Zimmer is great, and I love his uh, last. What is it called? Last Samurai or something? Yeah, I think it's the Last Samurai. So right. it's beautiful. I mean, I say, tell me something. If you had, let's say, you have your own show, yeah, you are creating a show where you're gonna, you know, you're gonna 
introduce yourself or which muse could you need to play every time for example like if you had uh your own show which muse could be the theme of your show oh um i think it would be something like i don't know i like you two so <laughs> yeah that will, something like that will come up or um you know uh, i i cranberry the cranberries i, I love the cranberries I love them. Yeah. yeah something like that something like that <laughs> amazing very good next question let's do it you like dancing um i haven't danced for a long time when i was young when i was about like uh, a boy like 17 16 i used to go to dancing classes for a couple of years i uh and then i stopped and i don't even know why i stopped and i regret it since i've regretted it oh, i always regretted it I love dancing. It was like like uh, Latino and standard dancing, and I loved it. Wow! Before the next question, tell me. You know, you mentioned already about you know being part of the LGBTQ plus community. You know, had you had experience where you know you had your marriage and uh, you were involved with the church. You had a different path. Tell me for me, how was your, um, let's say, your journey? When did you realize that um, you're, you're gay? And um, did you have the support of your family? And also, when you came out, did something happen? Or you just felt like, okay, I just need to leave my true self from now on, and I'm just going to be open about it, if you can share. Oh, that was a long process, uh, because I was in the church, so uh, it was something I, because I, now i feel kind of stupid but i honestly felt that if i did everything i was asked to do in the church that it would just go away um right but did, it didn't I, i got married it didn't um so i just felt a little bit betrayed and so it was a it was a long journey uh figuring out and there was a point where i decided or just i was just brought to the edge where i just was fighting inside for myself It's just for my survival. So um, I just tried to come out to some of my friends. And uh, yeah, and then something happened. I fell in love. And then it became kind of easy. Um, coming out to my wife was one of the hardest things I, I had ever done in my life. It was I thought I would die. Um, but the, my friends then... I left the church, so I didn't really talk to the people from the church about it. Uh, but <clears throat> then uh, my family was supportive. Um, it was I was actually surprised, and I, I never had like any anything like bad reactions or anything. Um, so I think I was lucky in this. Um, but sometimes it just tearing my hard to, to when when i work uh on you know in, in this uh, counseling thing um what, what stories horrible stories people have to go through and uh so i feel privileged to just to be part of the journey and when when there is a happy end it's always good but i don't always see the happy end. people just stop writing sometimes but when they write back um for example like two years later uh thank you for your help it helped it it's just it's just warming it's nice oh, amazing it's it's interesting um and i'm sure it, you felt very safe as well knowing that you had the support of your family i think that's a big plus because as you know you know as you said you're you're surprised because sometimes i think we are expecting not the worst but expecting a negative approach yeah about i was it. so scared i was so scared do you uh, think they knew it um your mom or your dad do you have siblings as my well my dad didn't my dad didn't i told him and uh we had, we had never spoken about it again mm -hmm. but uh my mom she i think she might have um but uh it took her some time to to come yeah. in, you know with, uh, into terms of this but uh my sisters were fine That would just my sisters were fine, yeah. <laughs> I think our mom, they know us. It's sometimes even better than ourselves. But I I totally agree. Sometimes they don't want to go into it because again, always happen with the neighbors, it always happened to people next door, but never happened to our own family. This this situation. Yeah. I mean, it's always 
with other people in other families. But when when you kind of confront, when you go like, okay, that's the reality, it's a different story. But I, I believe as well, our mom, they know us like pretty well. I think we well, are... Yes, they want us like be happy and to be safe. Yeah, and absolutely. sometimes this thing is not, doesn't mean to be safe or they feel or they think that it's not. Absolutely. In this world, it's not safe. And, and as well, they, they they didn't have much information as well growing up, you know, for different reasons or society, religion. There are a lot of things involved that they didn't have support. So for them as well, it's like they don't know how to deal with and they don't know how to approach that. And that's why this gap, you know, they just put on the side. They don't think about it. Just leave it on the side until we kind of come, okay, so let's, let's face it. Let's talk about it and see how it comes but i think nowadays with the social media everything is more exposed there and i think parents they are more um, educated about that or more understanding about that as well and still a lot of things you know a lot to catch up a lot of to to improve but you know i think nowadays parents they are much more open about it which is good which is great yes yeah okay before the next question which parents in your family are more close to um, probably my mom, yes. Yeah? Okay. Next question is, are you a cat or a dog person? And if you could be an animal, which one that would be and why? Uh, I'm either. I have never had a cat or a dog. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, but the only, so I, you know, I, I don't know how to deal with that. So that, uh, neither. But I used to have a hamster. Okay. Uh, if I could be an animal, I would either be a hamster or an elephant. Oh, oh my God, such a difference, <laughs> like... <laughs> Tell me why, why both? Uh, well, hamster is, it's a, it's a small thing, it's, it's, it can be everywhere, very simply, very quickly, it's very nosy, uh, and likes to eat. <laughs> uh, and, but on the other hand, elephants are big, they just have a, like an overview and they dominate the uh, the countryside, and uh, they they just look you know when they uh, move slowly, it looks it looks like even like wise, uh -huh. and they are they they actually are they are yeah, wise absolutely and uh, a very emotional animals, mm -hmm. and I, they yeah. just look great. Absolutely, there's like a mystery when you see elephant. There's something there that they you know there's a message there that you don't get it, but it, they are very. I think there's something there. A mystical about them that um, we we don't know, or, but there is there is something there. You know something what I mean? There. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Good one. Next question. Okay, hey, Vashek from Czech Republic. Next <laughs> question. Actually, I had few. I had some guests from Czech Republic. But I have a head for a while now, so mm -hmm. yeah, it's good to go back again to another guest from there. <laughs> Next question is, if you could ask for a miracle, what that would be? Ooh. Well, uh, could it be like a selfish or not really selfish? <laughs> Both ways. Allow, Both tell ways. me about, uh, yeah, something about you know about you that you'd like and something um, out of your... Um, you know your life you know i i think it's, it's it's very difficult because i try to live the way that whatever br uh, brings this moment uh let's you know i have to face it and be with it mm -hmm. um, mm, well yes um i think miracle is and it happens every time when one person um realizes oh, how to put this uh because what I like and what I do, what I and what I strive for is that I like to talk people like like real people, and when they come and they we meet themselves, and I think that is a miracle, and I like to watch that when that happens, and I usually very often with my friends, I prefer like meaningful conversations, not just like you know, chat chat chat, nothing nothing really. Um, so I like meaningful conversations with my friends and mm -hmm. when I can have a meaningful conversation, when two people, two souls meet, that's a miracle. Wow, I like that actually. So that's what, you, that would be your, your uh, wish for this miracle to happen. Yes, if that could happen more often. Wow. To all and, people. 
what's the best part of being you? What do you like the most about being Vashek? Ah, um, I like the fact that I like books, <laughs> as you can see behind yeah. me. It's not yeah. all right. Um, so I, yeah, I like reading and I, I like being curious. Mm -hmm. What are you reading right now? Your book that you are reading at the moment? There is any? Uh, well, uh, I, I'm reading quite a lot of books at the moment. I just, well, I, st I finished a book. Um, it's a book. Uh, it was a book about, it was a novel about a gay Mormon missionary in Italy in the 80s. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so that was quite interesting and it just reminded me some some uh, good old days. Um, but I, I have some psychological books around. And so, yeah, so I have a lot of books open at the moment. It's interesting about that uh, psychology books. Uh, when I go to libraries to buy, you know, books, I always end up in this section. <laughs> I always end up there. It's funny because there are so many like travel, history, geography, you know, different things. But I always tend to go on the psychology. It's like self-help and growing, mm -hmm. self-growing. Oh, I always end up there. When I go to Portugal or Brazil, um, it, those books I like to, to read on my mother language, Portuguese, because somehow you get more, you understand more, you know what I mean, somehow. Yeah. So when I go to those countries, I always bring like a bunch of those books because I just go and, you know, read them. I still read in English as well, and understand as well. But you know what I mean, those books, sometimes they, uh, you know, for you to understand the message deeply in a very understanding way, um, is in your mother language, I believe. Agreed. Yeah. Ready for another question? Yep. How do I say that in, in Czech? Ready for another question? Uh, Připravený na další otázku. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's painful, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> say that again slowly. Připravený. Připravený. Na další. Na další. Otázku. Otázku. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> Right, next question is, I think this is going to be very easy for you. What are you most passionate about? Um, I'm, well, I'm passionate about uh, the self-discovery. I, um, I, I just do these, this uh, psychological course, like um, psych uh, psychotherapy. And, and so, of course, we just dig inside. We go deep. And I just love it. Uh, sometimes it's not easy. Um, but in the end, I just love discovering uh, the layers, and that, because there are twenty-five of us in the in the class, and when that when you see that happening uh, to other people, and what they realize, and what they have to go through, and they open up, and they share, and they talk, and uh, after a year, you see them uh, making changes and opening up, and it's it's amazing, it's amazing, and oh. that's that's that's. You can be passionate about it, about this quite easily. Uh, well, at least that works for me. Oh my God! Yes, I understand. I totally understand. Um, what is your star sign in astrology? Uh, I'm Gemini. Gemini. Which month? Uh, May. May. Okay. I'm the beginning. Amazing. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Before the next one, I'm going to ask a question in two parts, yeah? The first part of the question is, um, you know, we spent some time in England, yeah? Um, I'm sure you, you've learned a lot, you had a good experience, you were involved with the, the Mormons, the church, yeah, you said? Um, talking to you, like, since we start talking, I, I have this vibe from you that you are very calm, like you pass this calmness that you know, you're a person that you feel people feel comfort in talking to you, like open up to you. Am I right? So you have this personality? Yes. Do you think it's because of your time, um, you know, you spend in the church or it's just you always been this way? And the second part of the question is um, when you think about your experience, you know, in the church and going through this journey, um, what's the, the most, let's say, positive message or positive thing that you 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 remember from that still that for you was like a gift that you're never going to forget? Mm. Uh, the first part of the question was, yeah, well, uh, yes. Uh, well, I think I've always been like that. Um, but, uh, well, I, I don't want to say that like that, but within, with, with coming age, <laughs> yeah, um, 
there is like more compassion and more understanding and more experience. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, but I think people have always, it was always, uh, it was always for people to talk to me. Um, and so I didn't want to pass that gift. Uh, and so I just wanted to do something about it because always, even before people are coming to me and talking to me and trusting me. Mm -hmm. So I just got it that it's a part, like it's a gift. Yeah. And, uh, and if I have that gift, I, I should use it somehow. And well, being in the church, it wasn't all bad, of course. Of uh, course. And I think uh, the most, the best experience I had was those two years in England as, as the missionary, uh, because uh, I was on the streets of England every day, talking to people, helping people, seeing uh, hundreds of people's different lives, good or bad. I've seen death and I have seen birth. Um, and I've seen, I've seen so many things uh, within two years of my young age. And there is a ex certain experience I still carry until today. And I'm aware of it. I'm aware of it. Wow. And um, when you start, when you had this experience as a missionary, it, it was something that you chose or you've, uh, you had influence from family or friends or people around you to do it? Um, well, there was an influence from the church and the friends in the church. And of course, mm -hmm. there, there were Mormon missionaries here. So you, know, you have this romantic idea <laughs> of being a missionary in a different country. Uh, and no, there was no influence from my family or, or whatever, but my friends back then and the church, the church, but it was voluntary. I decided it was my decision to go. Okay. Next question, niece, where do you want to be in 10 years time from now? Oh, I, well, uh, well, that's, that's a secret. I don't say this very often. Uh, I would like to be in front of a, a lot of people and teaching them. Wow, that's amazing, Vashek. And I can see you doing that easily. Thank you. Yes, absolutely. I'll, oh my God, that's amazing. I can, I literally, I'm, I'm not surprised about that, actually. For me, since I've been talking to you, I, it's something that is natural. Okay, thank you. <laughs> wow, wow. So it's something that you are kind of building slowly. You are getting some knowledge now, studying. You organize yourself for the future to be doing that. That's your plan. Yeah, I, I, you know, as a, with my interests, and I'm, of course, I'm aware that I'm collecting some knowledge, and mm -hmm. one day I would like to share that knowledge. Um, I don't know how. Uh, I will see what happens, um, but uh, I leave it open. I just, yeah, like I started a new job, and they gave me like a chance to do uh, things. Basically, I, uh, I, I like. So uh, oh. even my my new boss, she she told me. Like, um, just like learn the things you have to do. And then we will talk about what you can do, what you like to do. And so you wow. will do that. Wow. Am I going to receive a, a, a invitation when it happened? Uh, yeah. Wow. Well, England is not that far. So why not? <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's recording. Okay. People going to see the future if, if I don't receive Ooh. any invitation. Okay. <laughs> 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 I have three questions left, okay? Let's do it. Okay. A Czech from Czech Republic. Next question is, what is your favorite place in the entire world? Well, I have a place like that. And, well, I've got two. Uh, one thing that is closer and it's Prague. I love Prague and the magic of Prague. I've, I don't know if you have ever been... Uh, but I just love the place. Well, if you decide to come, contact me and I'll show you around. I'm absolutely yes. fine about that. So do that. Uh, it's official. For sure. It's recorded. It's recording. Look, you see? Yes. <laughs> and the second place I really like is the Isle of Man. Wow. You know, oh my God, you know what? I had an interview this week with someone from there. He's not from there. He's from Philippines, but he's he grew up there. And actually... Um, tonight I'm, uh, I redid his interview and tonight I'm going to do a teaser video I'm going to share a teaser video later um, about his okay. interview Okay. yeah I yeah. love the place, it's a beautiful place I spent uh, five or six months of my life there Wow. it's a beautiful place 
Yeah. His parents there he grew up in Philippines from Philippines, but um so he lived there for a few years. Now he's he's living in London now. But uh, yeah, and I had other guests as well in the past from Eyes of Man. Um interesting and why? Why Eyes of Man? Um, because it is a beautiful place. Uh, you know, the, the the hills and the countryside is beautiful. And I was there as the, as the Mormon missionary back then, and uh, oh. so I met some interesting people, and just the, the vibe, you know, of the place. You have to go if you want to get there. You, have, you need to go on a boat, and it's just amazing. The best ice cream in the world, uh, Manx ice cream. And I was, you know, I was working with animals there and on a farm milk. I was milking cows and uh, did crazy things, and I had fun, and I met lovely people there. Wow. And Prague, you know, of course, you're from Czech Republic and you live quite close to Prague. Tell me um, what's, what's something about the city that, um, you know, you're very passionate about, you're very proud, or tell me about the city that's, uh, what's the postcard of Prague, in your opinion? Well, if you come to Prague, Prague has like, a, 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 it's very picturesque, uh, because if you just walk on the bridge, because there is a river, you see the whole castle. It's one of the biggest castles in the world. And the landscape, the all the skyline is is amazing. And the old streets are really nice. The old squares, the architecture, uh, the history, the, uh, the mythology or the myths of Prague is just the the, the, the magic is, is, is amazing. And I have, I've seen the places a million times and it just, it's just, it's always there. And I just love it. And it's a, a different every time. And, uh, yeah, you should come to see what, what I what I what I, I'm talking about. I will for sure. I will. Should I come in the summertime, winter time? What's the best time spring, to go? Spring, spring, spring. Okay. Yeah. Summer okay. can be quite hot, and it's 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 not that nice. I see. Okay, amazing. Done. Deal. Now I'm coming to Prague. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Two questions left. Let's do okay. it. Okay. Right, before the next one, as we were talking about the LGBTQ community, yeah, tell me how it is being gay, like in Czech Republic or in Prague, um, you know, the place where you live. Tell me a little bit about your experience, like when you, how, how you see the gay scene um, in your country and also in, in the capital, in Prague. Well, the capital is, you know, there's one million people there, it's over one million, so it's pretty open and, uh, uh, it's not that difficult. We actually in Prague there are lots of uh, people from Slovakia uh, because it's not that open in Slovakia. Um, I wouldn't be that brave in my town because there's only like fifty thousand people here. Mm -hmm. uh, Czech society likes to call itself like being tolerant, mm -hmm. but I don't like the word tolerant because I, I don't want to be tolerated. Just yeah. Like, you know? yeah. So I think what I call it is indifferent. Mm -hmm. um, unless it's you know comes into you too close and in the family people just don't care yeah. and um so we don't have the marriage for all uh so it's being it's it's being in, discussed in the parliament uh these these months these past months and um yeah it's uh, it's getting a little bit worse with uh, the things happening in uh, Hungary and Slovakia, Poland is not, you know, not no fun either. I've got friends in Poland. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the Czech Republic is the most open society to this um, of, of these countries. Um, so yeah, I don't. I, I'm I'm open. I'm very open. I don't hide who I am. Actually, I the, the company I work for. There are uh, tens of tens of thousands of employees. And I, we did some broadcasts and I came out to all of them because it was about the LGBT wow. people. I, I don't, I'm, I'm really open because what the things I do, we have, we even have like a um, employee group uh, called Skoda Proud. Um, so we just do events for people, allies, LGBT people. We meet up, we just make trips. So um, yeah, and the company supports it because there's diversity and inclusion. Um, so yeah, I'm quite I'm quite involved, um, and mm -hmm. I don't see there are always people just have you know writing to you and saying things and quoting the Bible, uh, but it's okay. That's just uh, they just feel the urge, and um, 
I'm, you know, you're fine about that. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, but I'm really open. I'm open about it. You know, all my friends, everybody knows. I see. Okay. Next question, niece. Okay. What makes you laugh out loud? What makes you laugh the most? Ooh, British humor. I love British humor. It's British series. Um, <laughs> so I even I love to watch and rewatch uh, some old shows and they make me like the royal family and I, I love some of the old stuff. So that makes me uh, laugh out loud, yes. But it has to be clever humor. What's the difference of the humor, like the British and the Czech one? There is some difference or, or not, in your opinion? It's actually, it's quite similar, uh, to yeah. be honest. Um, and so it's quite sarcastic. And uh -huh. there's, there needs to be quite a lot of things uh, to make the point. Uh, so it's not like the first plan uh, jokes on the spot. No, it, it doesn't work here. And quite a lot of sarcasm. And, and actually sad and humorous situations as well at the same time. So it's it's similar to the British one, the British humor. Amazing. Ready for the last one? Okay. Last question. Let's do it. Right. But before the last question, people watch the interview right now. Yeah. Um, and they, you know, they maybe they are a missionary, missionary or maybe they are involved in the church and, uh, you know, they um, they are from the LGBTQ plus community as well. Maybe they, let's say, they don't have much information or maybe they are trapped, you know, it could be trapped as well. Or maybe they are just like discovering themselves. They are a bit like lost. They don't know which direction to to um, to follow. Yeah. Regarding their sexuality. What would be your best piece of advice for those people? Well, um, I think always the best thing is to find somebody to talk to. It's not always easy because when I was coming out, I didn't have anybody to talk to. I uh, couldn't find anything. Um, so yeah, just find somebody to talk to. Uh, you, you, you're not lost. Um, maybe you feel lost, but that doesn't mean that it, can, you know, it will last forever. Uh, and talking to someone who will understand, who will not judge and who will accept and just listen with open ears and uh, see you as a person is the best thing. And that's uh, why I do what I do and help people with that. So yeah, and I basically just find, try to find someone uh, to talk to and who you trust to. Amazing. Okay, last question, Lise. Which season of the year you feel more connected with and why? I think spring. Uh, because it smells really nice and uh, the, the green looks fresh and it's not that hot um, and in England there were always uh, daffodils everywhere and I loved that and yeah so spring spring is my 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 season that's why you want me to come in spring yeah yeah oh, yeah <laughs> 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 Amazing. Okay, so then yet, um, let's play now the word association game. Okay, I'm going to give away some words. Just tell me one word that comes to your mind. Quick thinking. Okay, let's start with religion. Uh, Buddhism. Buddha. Money. Yeah, money. Um. Ooh, uh, money. Books. <laughs> Good. I like it. Fear. Oh, big eyes. Just, yeah. Love. Compassion. Life. Excitement. Family. Children. Mm. Sex. Sharing. Politics. Um, still hope. Friendship. Embrace, embracing, embrace Des Desire. Chocolate. <laughs> any particular or any chocolates? Um, just the ones I like. <laughs> I think that this season now is a lot of chocolate. I've been eating a lot of chocolate because of Christmas coming soon. It's, um, yeah. it's crazy, isn't it? This time you just feel like eating chocolate. It's, fun. it's everywhere. It's like, it. it's like Easter. <laughs> um, one word for regrets. Mm. Loss. 
success. Mm, success. Um, uh, that's a word I don't really uh, think about very often. Success. You know what? Nothing is coming. Nothing is coming. Success. Okay. No, I don't know. It's it won't be money because it's just no. But success. Personal. Sorry. I said personal. Success for me is like personal. It doesn't matter how you feel. Success could be anything. Yeah, yeah exactly. So because yeah. it, it can be so. To yeah. Me, success to me, success is um, when I feel that I've done something I can be yeah. happy about. Yes, yeah, some people for some people success is just like maybe waking up earlier than usual, you know, going out of their comfort zone could be something big as well, you know, get a higher salary or being rich or being successful. It, it depends. I think it's very personal. That's how I see. Um, wish. Well, which is uh, the word is com which is coming is exams because I should pass some exams and I have been, uh, you know, uh, what's the word, postponing uh, a lot. So that's my wish. Procrastinating, yeah, that's very. It's so many yeah. sometimes. Oh my God, um, one word for happiness. Happiness. Um, that will be sunshine. Hmm, nice. Um, one word for missionary. Missionary? Rules. Wow. Um, one word for Prague. Prague? Yeah. Um, spires. Spiders? Not spiders, spires. Oh, spires, okay. <laughs> Powers, spires. Mm -hmm. The last one now, Czech Republic, one word. Um... Castles and castles. Yes, lots of castles here. Yeah. Okay. Let's pretend I'm going to meet your best friend for a coffee. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to ask your best I'm gonna ask, ask your best friends. What's the most beautiful thing about Vasheki? And what's something that you still need to work on to improve on? What your best friend would say? Um I th I'm thinking about my best friend, uh, what she would say. Um, I think she would say what you have said, that I, I, I can be quite close to people uh, mm -hmm. very quickly and I, I, I open up and they open up as well. And what I think she would say is that um, I should work on realizing what, who I'm, what I actually am, because sometimes I don't really have the self-esteem and I'm quite shy, and it's difficult to come out of my out of my comfort zone. Okay. So that's what she would probably start saying I should work on. And do you see some work in progress regarding that? Oh yes, uh, I, I I've been I've been working on myself. So sometimes I just put myself in situations that I have to come out of my comfort zone. Uh, studying psychotherapy is. A place where you really come out of your of your of the comfort zone, and I have to realize that I've actually uh, within my life I have gained some experience, and I have actually managed to do some things, and it, it was difficult in the past to admit that. Do you think doing this interview for you was something like for you to kind of come out of your comfort zone as well? Uh, it is actually yes, and uh, I was really curious about this. Uh, mm -hmm. I was a bit like surprised because never ever nobody <laughs> uh, addressed me with anything like this, and uh, I'm really happy and it, I, I'm really enjoying this. We meant to have this moment today, uh, Vashek, for sure. I, that's what I believe. Uh, when I invite people online on social media, the same way I invite you as well. If they say yes, good. If they say no good it didn't meant to be so you know i think it's about making memories i think it's not just for you to come out of your comfort zone but it's about helping people sharing um, stories connect with people um you know it's something here it's something here happening that uh it meant to happen today so it's it's, it's like making memories so yeah i'm grateful that you accept my invitation and I, i'm happy when people they you know they 
for some reason or another, they go like, you know what? Why not? Let's do it. Yeah, that's right, bro. Like, like, why not? I, I, I saw your page uh, the, the, your, uh, on YouTube, and I just thought this is this is amazing. Actually, this is so interesting, and I, I really like what you're doing and what you do because it's it's amazing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's play now Vashek and the Magic Box, and you can ask me a question. Okay, but before you ask me the question, tell me what's your favorite Czech word? Favorite Czech word? Oh, well, I've, I've been talking about books a lot, so, uh, because I like books, and so, and that's a word I use very often, so a Czech word for a book is kniha. 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 Okay. Cool. You can ask me a question now. Well, actually, I was th thinking about it, and um, and when I when I saw some of some of some of it, what you do, I just you felt very open and very motivated. So yeah. I just want to ask you, like, what motivates you, or what gives you your drive or desire to do this? Yeah, absolutely. I can tell you right I, now. I, I know. You know, just in, in general, because if, if you're genuinely like, genuinely like that. Absolutely. I'll tell you something, uh, Vashek. It's interesting, the question, because, um, you know, through my life, I've always been, I admire people. I always admire people, not just admire, but I always when I see people saying like, oh, my God, I was born for that. I love what I do. I love, I came to this world for. And I saying that, I still believe that all of us, we can do different things in life and still be happy. Yeah, you can do a lot of things. For example, I could do other things and I do other things as well. That it makes me happy, you know, and I could be happy just doing anything. Like, so all of us, we have different paths that it, it can make us happy. I believe that. But saying that through my life, my personal life, I've always been asking myself, my God, what? What I came to this world for? What I would like to, you know, I never had the... Um, again, I, I enjoy doing a lot of things. I'm very proactive, you know, I love opportunities. Uh, you know, I love doing things that gets me, you know, living always. And, uh, but I was always asking myself, my God, what's the feeling of, um, you know, when you go to bed um, or when you wake up and you go like, okay, I, I'm going to do something that I like it. So I've always been asking myself this question, but, and I knew, I was talking to a friend a few years ago about that. And I told him, I said, look, uh, because I remember he, he enjoyed what he was doing, and I told him, I said, look, I, 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 I'm so fascinated to see you saying that, like, you, you, you love what you're doing. And I said to him, I, I, can, I can tell you with my heart that I, I don't have this feeling yet. I do a lot of things, I have my job, but I enjoy, but it's not something that I go like, okay, I, I, I would like to do that. And I told him, but I will, it will come one point, it will come one point, I would have this feeling, yeah? Saying that through my life, when I look back, for example, this interaction we are doing right now, uh, you know, the match box. When I look back, I just, I just realized that afterwards when I started doing the show, I was looking back from my teenagerhood, when I was a teenager, when I'm going, even now when, as an adult, when I go on holidays with friends, when I go to barbecues or to um, picnics, there there was always a moment like natural. I was like, okay, so let's start. Who is your favorite teacher? Um, tell me about your childhood memories, you know? So I was doing that already and I didn't realize that. And um, even as a teenager as well, I remember like with my friends at school, I was like, okay, so what's your favorite color? You know, it, it, I was doing that already. So fun enough was already here, but I, I didn't know. I didn't know how to, to put this in practice or somehow to express myself. Mm -hmm. 2020, you know, the world literally yeah. turned around, like went upside down. Here in England, um, we could leave the house once a day for exercise, yeah, to do exercise. And I love running, I love doing exercise, I love being proactive. One of those runs in the park, I, I remember the moment, I remember the, the, the place where I was running, running and thinking about, you know, my head always like everywhere, like thinking about uh, things. And this idea came along and I stopped it for a moment. I was like, oh my God, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to create uh, a show where I can have random questions and I can just ask people around the globe and see what, what's they, their opinion about that. Of course, I didn't have like a knowledge how it, the thing would go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The other day I was actually, I, I think this week, uh, I was screwing up some in the very first interviews I did. I couldn't watch. I was like, oh my God, I'm speaking so, I speak fast anyway. 
I was like, oh my God, I don't want to watch that because I looked myself. I was like, oh, I was so excited and full of energy. Mm. And I was like, you know, I couldn't let other people talk as well because I was so excited. I was cutting then, I was talking you know, over then. It was so embarrassing to see somehow. <laughs> I'm still learning anyway. I still have a lot to learn. But when I look back, anyway, back to your question. Um, I think what motivates me about the show, what I like the most, it, it's something about me. It's about me expressing myself, yeah? You have no idea how, for me, it's so um, um, powerful when I connect with, like, for, for you. My God, I'm talking to you now. It's the first time I've seen you, but I feel like I know you for a while. There's a connection here. There's something. And that's, I think, it's so beautiful. I feel so comfortable. And somehow, it's like an exchange of energy here. And I think that's what uh, what motivates the most about the Magic Box is about connect with people and seeing people express themselves. And not just that, because people watch the show as well. I, I receive messages from people that, you know, like random people, they don't, they don't, I never invite them, but they send me a message, oh, I watch your interview and I think it's nice to see these other people connecting. Um, and I could tell you so many stories. I could write a book just with those, you know, experiences I, I, I already had. So, Vashek, back to your question, I think it's about expressing myself and, you know, connect with people and let people express themselves as well. So I think that's all the what motivates me the most about here. I could do that 24 hours, no stop, because it brings me joy to my life. And I just remember that I'm recording, when I look here, this sign here, recording, because I forget that I'm recording the interview because for me it's so natural to, to be here, you know, talking and sharing energy and um, open up, express myself. I know it's a, a long answer, I know. but I, I forgot that I'm being recorded and I can say yeah. that I really enjoyed it. And you have a gift for this. So I, it's, it's amazing that you, you have you've, you found your passion and yeah. I wanted, yes, I would, I, you know, I wanted to see what motivates you in life. And this is probably, this is probably it just gives you the energy. Absolutely. When you said, when you mentioned before that, you know, you, you want to be doing this, you know, helping people in a bigger proportion, talking public and uh, as, as, as motivate, motivational speaker. Yeah. It's the same feeling I have here when I'm doing here because it's so natural for me. I feel even I remember sometimes I had, um, I had some, of course, I have some days that I'm, I'm, I'm sad for some reason, you know, I have my moments as well. And, uh, and I felt like, oh my God, am I going to be able to do the interview? But I said, okay, let me challenge myself and see if I can do it. And I challenged and the energy from the other guests was so powerful that I forgot for this moment mm -hmm. that I was in that mood, you know, and I couldn't believe it because I thought, okay, William, you're not going to be natural, you know, you're going to be, you can, because for me, it's always about being natural. It's about, you know, of course, it's, if I would be some too much, of course, I wouldn't be able to do because you, could, you would see that I wasn't well. But it was just something maybe bothering me, something. So I, had, I said, okay, I'm going to challenge myself. I'm going to do the interview. And after I sent a message to my guest, it was a couple, actually. I remember it was a couple and they were doing the interview with me. And I was in my, on my best days. I almost canceled, almost. I said, okay, let's do another day because I was, I was, in, I was in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a good place. But mm -hmm. I said, okay, let me see. If I don't feel well during the interview, I just can say, you know what, let's... Because I, I like to be natural. I like to be open and talk about. But no, uh, their eyes shining when I started doing the interview. They, they, you know, they were so excited about it that I literally forgot. I, I got so connected then, and I, you know, for for the interview, I was literally like in, in the best shape I could be because it was amazing. So yeah, so it's uh, it's something about you know connect with people and being honest and open and vulnerable. Everything it's about the show. So that's what motivates the most. I know it's a long, but it's it's true. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Did you enjoy the interview? I loved it. I was a bit nervous. Of course. Uh -huh. but, um, yes, I forgot that I, I was being uh, recorded and, I, you know, it has been natural and I really enjoyed talking to you. Thank you so much. Thanks for, for being so kind to, to challenge yourself as well, to, you know, to accept an invitation. And again, we just made memories. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Before you go, if you can share a positive message or anything that you live by. Um. Yes, there is one thing. Um, I like a, a quote 
uh, by uh, Carl Gustav Jung. Mm. He was a psychologist, one of the greatest ones. He was a Swiss. And um, actually, I was talking about it during during the interview. I didn't know what the interview would be about, but actually, it's quite fitting. Um, and because I like to uh, connect people with themselves to find their inner real themselves. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, Jung once said, who looks outside dreams, who looks inside awakes. Wow, let me think I did. Say that again, let me, let, let me understand. Who looks outside dreams and okay. who looks outside awakes. Interesting. Wow, very interesting. I never thought about that. Just, I never thought about this way. It's amazing. So yes, this is actually... I, I, you know, I, when I uh, saw this quote, I just said, well, this is what I actually like about it. This is mm -hmm. what I know, and that this is something what I've been striving for. Amazing. Okay. Thanks for sharing. Thanks so much. Again, thanks for, for taking the time. And I see you in Czech, in Prague, in Czech Republic in next spring. Yes, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Thanks so much. In regards to your friends, you, your friends. family, and you keep in touch, okay? It was a pleasure. Okay. Thank yeah. you for having me. Thanks so much. Okay, have a good night. Keep Thank in you. touch. Take yes, care. Okay, bye, bye bye. Bye. So, did you like the show? Don't forget to give a like, to share it, and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like to be part of the show as well, first subscribe to our channel, and after that, just go to our website www.williamandthemagicbox.com and send us a request saying why would you like to be part of the show. And I see you there. Bye-bye, see you next time.